Hello friends, welcome to my clubhouse. My name is Teacher Barry and this week I did something so fun. I invited all of my friends to a paint party. First, I set up all the paints outside. Then we began painting. First, we painted with the big brushes. Hold up your pretend paintbrush and paint big long lines with me. Then, we painted with little brushes. Pretend to paint little tiny dots with me. Next, we painted with our fingers. Wiggle your fingers. The paint felt so ooey gooey. It was awesome. And of course, we had a paint party finale. Splatter painting. We dipped our paint brushes in the paint and then we splattered paint on paper. My paint party was so much fun. But the mess we made, whew, I knew when I saw that mess that it was going to be so hard to clean up. Ugh. That reminds me of what we will learn today. It's about some people who did something really hard. But before we hear what happens, let's stand up for worship. Let's sing the song together.
Hello everyone, I am Teacher Patty and I'm here to tell you a true story from the Bible. Today's true story begins with a beautiful building called the Temple. Can you say that with me? The Temple, yes. The Temple is where God's people would meet to learn about God and worship God. Kind of like what we do here at church, right? The temple was a very special place, but it had been destroyed. Someone destroyed it. So God's people decided to rebuild the temple. Now, rebuilding the temple was going to be a very, very hard job. Let's pretend to help the people rebuild the temple. You want to do that with me? Okay, take out your pretend saw, just like this one. I'll use this one, but you can just use your hands, okay? All right, everyone, saw with me. Ready? Like this. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Phew. You can put your saw away. All right, now take out your pretend hammers. I have my hammer right here. Ready? Let's hammer. <laughs> yes, you can put your pretend hammer away now. I'll put mine right here. Now, it's time to lift some heavy bricks. Pretend you are holding something really heavy. Ready? This one, this one's mine. Okay, now you put it away to the side. Now you take another one. Put it away to the other side. Okay, one more. Pick it up, it's heavy, it's heavy. And then put it away. Okay. All right, these bricks are so heavy, but I'm glad we can stop now. That was really hard. Imagine what the people were doing in real life. <laughs> it was really hard for God's people. They worked and they worked and they worked and they finished the first part of the temple. Now temples are really big and it was gonna take a lot of hard work to rebuild it. But some people started celebrating that the work had begun. They played trumpets. Play your pretend trumpets with me. <laughs> They played cymbals. Play your pretend cymbals with me. One more time. <laughs> and they sang songs to God about how good God is and how thankful they were. They just had so much joy. We can be like the people who chose to celebrate. We can look at the good things God is doing and have joy too. We can play music. We can sing songs and say thank you to God. We can have joy all the time, even when we do hard things. Who can have joy all the time? I can have joy all the time. Now say it again, but with the biggest smile you have. I can have joy all the time. <laughs> yes, we can. Thank you for listening to the Bible story, friends. I just had so much fun with you today. Let's pray together. Dear God, help us to see the good and have joy even when we do hard things. We know you love us and are always with us, and that is worth celebrating all the time. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. It's pop quiz time. I'm gonna ask you some questions and you're gonna have to think really hard to remember the Bible story so you can answer. Are you ready? Okay, question number one. What place would people meet in to learn about God? Is it called a temple? Is it called a library? Or is it called a school? That's right, people used to meet in a temple to learn all about God. Question number two, what happened to the temples? Were the temples closed? Were the temples destroyed? Or did the temple get flooded from hard rain? Yes, sadly, the temples were all destroyed. Here comes the last question. Why did the people of God celebrate? Did they celebrate because the rebuilding of the temple has begun? Did they celebrate because the temples were destroyed? Or did they celebrate because someone had made chocolate cake for dessert? You got it. The people of God celebrated because the rebuilding of the temple has begun. You all did it. Thanks for playing pop quiz with me. Hello IES kids, join me over here. Let's review the memory verse of the month. Everyone listen and watch me. 
A joyful heart is good medicine. Proverbs 17, 22. Great. Now let's do it together. Ready? A joyful heart is good medicine. Proverbs 17, 22. Yes, you did it. We can have joy all the time because God loves us. Tell me, who can have joy all the time? I can have joy all the time. Let's say it one more time. Who can have joy all the time? I can have joy all the time. You got it. Keep this in mind, IES kids. Wow, the people had a hard job to do. Some people chose joy and celebrated God because the temple was being rebuilt. I think I get the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it. Good. Cleaning up after my paint party is going to be hard, but I can choose joy anyways. See you next time, my friends.